Hello everyone. Welcome to WebG. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a project using gRPC. So for that, first we will create the gRPC server. Oh, so open Visual Studio and create a new project in gRPC and given name. I have given gRPC example here. So I am adding the uh, location and uh, creating a project here. So now the project is being created. Now let us explore the files that is already created in gRPC. So we can see that there is a folder called proto and there is a file called proto. So in that the message uh, that is request and reply are being uh, used in the proto file added in the proto file and there is a service class where the service is being added and there is a program class where all this uh, where the service is being registered so this is already been added in a, a grpc template now let us add a client for this. So I am going to create a console application and uh, when we create the console application we have to add the protos. Uh, so you can uh, copy the same protos folder here but you have to make the change like the uh, proto file should be made as client in our client application and it should have been made as uh, server in the server application. Now let us add three NuGet packages. One is grpc tools, grpc uh, .NET client and we have to even add google.protobuf. So these three NuGet packages have to be added. So once these are ready, our client is ready. Now let us uh, edit the project file and make the grpc service as client so when we copy it uh, in the server uh, project our proto file will be server so in our client project we have to make it as client so now let us build our application and and in the proto file uh, you have to give the name of the client uh, project in your client profile. So this is a console application. So I am uh, naming it as a console application because we are going to create a .NET framework application and a WinForm uh, form application as well. So in the main project, uh, I mean in the main class, let us add a few lines so we will create uh, we will add a client so for that we can write like a gr we can uh, call the url of our server so we can add like grpc channel dot for address and inside that we will give the url of our uh, server application now let us register the client. Here we will give the name of our client and our, register our channel. So the next line we will add the reply. That is, uh, so we uh, so we have sent a request. And whatever we have uh, sent, the, uh, sent as a request from our server, we can uh, call it over here. So we will call the method that is already registered in our proto. That is, for our example, we are uh, calling the method say hello. And we are passing the request as Sangeeta here. That is my name. So it will ultimately print hello Sangeeta because hello we are passing in from our uh, server class let us run the application 
so exactly the same url that is there in your uh, client application should have been registered here so we have come up across with an error uh, so I have given a sync in the uh, main class. So I'll just uh, remove those keywords and let us run this once again. Save it and run the application again. So the output is being printed here. So whatever we have given as the name or uh, as the request and uh, we are getting the same in our client application. Now let us create another project that is uh, we will create another client application as a WinForm client. So I am going to uh, creating a WinForm console application here. So once the project is created, I am adding a form and two text boxes that is request and response and a uh, button, submit button as well. Now inside the button click method, we can add the channel and uh, the client here, uh, inside this. So whatever we have added in our console application and the uh, main method, we can add those three lines here inside the button click method. So what will happen is once we uh, click on the button, whatever is there in the first text box, that will be printed in the second one with the message from uh, our server. So let us just uh, run this application. So uh, whatever we have uh, given inside the that is the request inside the first text box will be the request and uh, in the second text box the reply will be printed along with the message from our server that is hello hello is the message from the server so that is uh, with the second application that is the winform application now let us create another application 
वेर वी आर मेकिंग द क्लाइंट एज अ फ्रेम वर्क एप्लीकेशन एंड आवर सर्वर इज अ डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन सो जी आर पी सी इज ऑलवेज अ डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन नाउ लेट दिस मेक इट अ डॉट नेट फ्रेम वर्क एप्लीकेशन एज द क्लाइंट सो बोथ आर इन कॉम्पिटेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स सो लेट एस सी हाउ दैट विल वर्क सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू मेक वी हैव टू एड द नुगेट पैकेज वेब so grpc asp dot net core web package is there so that should be added inside the framework application sorry the server application that is our grpc project now let us create a framework application and i am going to give the name as uh, grpc hello framework for that now let us install all the required a uh, nuget that is the client dot grpc dot net client and the protobuf as well as grpc tools and we have to even add grpc dot net client dot web so these four uh, nuggets should be added now let us add the three uh, lines that we had added in our console application in the program class of our uh, framework class so here there is a difference so we have to add the grpc web options here and we have to add the grpc web handler here so that uh, the http will be compatible so as you can see in the uh, in the screen so uh, this change should have been made and the uh, in the proto buff uh, in the edit project file so in framework application you cannot do it directly you have to di unload the project first then only you can edit the project file so there we have to add the proto buff uh, file in that and make it as client so here i am adding an item group and i am adding the proto buff file into this and making it as client now let us run the application and see what is wrong so we have missed adding grpc web inside the server as well so we have to add grpc web uh, inside the program class so you have to add the above lines into the uh, program class of the grpc example that is our server class now again we have come up with an error let us see what is the mistake this time so this time it says that the service is unavailable so let us just uh, troubleshoot so here we have forgot to add the grpc web application so that should have been added and uh, this app dot use grpc web should have been included
Now, if you had noticed, the Nougat packages are used as two different versions. That is, the ASP.NET Core application is 2.4, but the grpc.asp.net Core Nougat is 2.5. This should have been avoided. Both should be of the same version. Only then it will work. Now let us uh, try running this again. So grpc is working fine. Now let us uh, try to run the framework application. So again we have come up with an error. This time the HTTP2 does not match. So go to the app settings file and here we have used and endpoints as HTTP2 only. So that should, if you remove that, it will work now. So that is a very interesting session on GRPC. So I hope you liked today's video. If you like, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon so that you will receive all of my future videos. Do like, comment and share this video with friends and family. Thank you for supporting. We will come again with another exciting video soon. Till then, bye bye.